Now let's look at um, the second part. We found an expression for OG. We're saying that it's a fraction of OF and OF is one third of A plus B plus C. So OG is going to be M times that where M is a fraction. But now we're going to find OG by another root, and we're going to say that OE, OG is equal to OE plus GE, that plus that. Well, EG is some fraction of that altitude, EC. So now we can say that OG is one third of A plus B, which is OE, plus L times EC. Now, how do we get EC vector-wise? Well, we'd need to go back from E to O, so negative one-third A plus B plus C. So we can see that's been written out here for us. L times negative a third A plus B plus C, that's the um, E O to O C, and one-third of A plus B is O E, going the other direction. When we simplify this, we have one third of one minus L A and one third of one minus L B and L C. Now we can compare coefficients because we have M over three C from this way of getting from O to G and L C from the other. So L is equal to M over three and M is three times the length of L. Now that in fact, tells us exactly what we need because we're being told that this length multiplied by 3 will give me that length. But if we want to see the fraction, we can um, put, we can make a substitution and we can say, look at the coefficient of a and we've got m over 3 is equal to one third of 1 minus l. But this is 3L, M is 3L, we've discovered. So we've got L is equal to one third of one minus L. So 3L is equal to one times this, and or 4L is equal to one. So L is going to be equal to one quarter as desired. And then M is going to be three quarters. So we have demonstrated that the orthocenter of a tetrahedron divides the altitudes in the ratio 1 to 3 uh, by means of vectors.